Gunakshish, thank you for coming, everyone. Welcome to the National Museum of the American Indian. Sorry, I'm out of shape. I don't normally do this. <laughs> my name is Eric Hollinger. My Klingit name is Duck Wu. I'm adopted Dr. Luwedi clan, Kilauea clan, and I'm an archaeologist in the repatriation office at the National Museum of Natural History. And Natural History Museum and the Museum of the American Indian are proud to co-sponsor the performances here and the presentations by Dakloedi clan leader Edwell John Jr. and the Dakokwan dancers. And I will now turn it over to my clan leader, Edwell John Jr. Kunakshish. Kunakshish, thank you for that introduction. Like Eric said, welcome. We are a, a dance group made up of members, dance members from Southeast Alaska. I'm from a small hunting and fishing village of Angoon, Alaska. And I live in Juneau. Many of the dance group's members here are from the, the Yukon near Whitehorse, Canada. Now you might ask, how is that, how is that possible? We're both we're, we are all Dakhluwadi members, with the exception of three Deshitan members um, here in our dance group. The reason we are brothers and sisters is because long before there were borders for Alaska separating Alaska and Canada, our Tlingit people occupied the whole territory up and down southeast Alaska and in the interior in Canada. For 10,000 years, we've occupied that territory. And so we literally, our brothers and sisters of the interior, Shlingit Indians. Now you might ask, well, how does someone get from Juneau, Alaska or Angoon to the interior if they're separated? The reason we are separated is because of the, what we call the migration story, where the Tlingit Indians, when the flood water started to rise, we then started to move inward, inland, to avoid the flood waters. The flood waters came, and it was the flood waters started to recede, and we started to migrate back down south into Southeast Alaskan territory. Many of our Dukhlawadi members stayed in the interior, and many of our Dukhlawadi members on the coastline of southeast Alaska. So that's how we have both Tlingits from Canada and Tlingits from Alaska. We don't say that, we're just Tlingit people. The name, what we are called is Tukhlawadi. If you see uh, on many of our uh, regalia pieces, we have the symbol of the killer whale. And, and some of the dance group members are, are of the Deshitan clan. The reason why they are turned around, it's not in disrespect, 
is to show you the clans that they are from. They proudly, proudly want to show you who they are and where they come from. I'm not going to speak anymore. I think you came to see the dancers. I thought I'd take a moment to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about who I am and who we are. Gunish Chish, thank you for being here this afternoon with us. Gunish Chish, the Doc Kwan dancers. Iguaya Kwan. Book. I just want to thank everyone who is here to witness our dance, our songs, to, to hear our songs. Many of these songs are very, very old. They've been passed down through many generations. The first three songs that we had, that we had sang, the outside song, or entrance song, and this last song, they're still really new songs. So it is something that it was probably the first time that is being sung here, and we are very honored to do that. The uh, outside song was uh, composed by a very good friend of ours. 
is the outside song and the entrance song. Our friend, his name is Lance Crone Twitchell. And uh, he's from the Juneau and Skagway area in Alaska. That song is called the Chilkoot Series. It uh, talks about, the song was made in, in the, with the thoughts of when many years ago, once the contact happened with, with our people in June or in uh, Klukwan in uh, Haines, Alaska, once the army came in and had contact, uh, many of our women went, went missing at that time. And a long time after they, would, they, they were missing, they would actually wash up on shore wrapped in seaweed. It was a very disheartening time for many of our people. But with this song, we see that through time, things heal, people heal, and, and our culture is getting stronger and stronger as we move along. So the second song, the entrance song, is more of a celebration song. And that is to talk about the, uh, of, of how we are celebrating today, how we are gaining our, our uh, chatsin, our strength, for our uh, hakus tii, our way of life. Uh, before we carry on, I'd like to say thank you for uh, Edwell John Jr., the Duck Oedi clan leader, as well as uh, our elder who has given us a lot of guidance over the years, uh, Doris McLean, who is also from the Duck Oedi clan. Uh. Um, my name is uh, Tago Ha, and I am of the uh, Deshutan clan. I am one of the three Deshutan here of the opposites, too, so that we can balance each other and hold each other up. Our uh, song that we had sung in the last one was uh, composed by a dear friend of ours. His name is Nahan, and it's called the Akila Whale Current. And it's uh, to uh, symbolize when, when the uh, dorsal fins, the uh, dancers, when they dive down and uh, come back up, that's to, uh, to uh, symbolize the wake of the water that follows the Akila Whale as it dives down. So this uh, next song is uh, also composed by a friend of ours. It's called the uh, Raven Strut. And uh, this was uh, composed by our dear friend from Ketchikan. His name is uh, uh, Kevin Clevenger. And um, this is uh, the Raven Strut. So thank you, hope you enjoy. That last song, uh, The Raven Strut, uh, the man who uh, composed that is a Sim Shan song. So it, uh, for a lot of people on the West Coast who are uh, familiar with their songs and our dances, you actually notice that the drum beat is uh, a little more different than what our, the uh, Tlingit traditional uh, drum beats are. But that's uh, one of the uh, great things about all of us 
uh, our groups dancing and sharing our songs is that we are also learning from not only for ourselves and from our elders, the ones who we really listen to, but we're also learning about other cultures as well, which is also very important because at uh, one, one point in time, we used to always trade back and forth and we, we would help each other out. So it is also very important for us to, uh, to really learn about each other and to hold each other up. This uh, next song is called the Eagle Honor Song. This song was, is a Anishka song. It was uh, composed for uh, one of, another one of our dear friends. His name is uh, Michael <coughs> Gossamilch D'Angeli. He is a, 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 a well-known carver. He's carved many totem poles. And this song was actually, uh, he, uh, he commissioned a lady an Anishka lady to, uh, or a Simshian lady to, um, to write this song for him in a, as a celebration for one of the totems that he had carved. Uh, so, <clears throat> this, uh, so this uh, next song, we're actually going to be bringing out two of our dancers, they're eagle dancers. And, uh, one of the masks was uh, carved by the uh, the uh, song that this the song the, the person that the song was written for, uh, Mike D'Angeli. So uh, we would like to move forward and uh, welcome them in. Ganeshish. Thank you very much. Uh, this uh, next song, it is called Suits Hun. It is the name that the uh, Tlingit people would have for the uh, Simshian. A long time ago, the, uh, from my understanding, and I'm still learning, but uh, a long time ago, the uh, Deshitan people from the Ingun area helped out this, the Simshian. And they had uh, made sure that everyone was was good and safe. I guess it was a real hard winter, and they were. Um, so the the Adeshitan helped them, and then the, they they had left. But they had came back with a series of songs, and this is uh, one of the uh, the songs that had come back uh, to the Adeshitan from the Simshian. It is called uh, Suit Sun.
This song is really going to highlight our male dancers. It's a good song for them. I'm trying to stall a little bit. That's a good song for our men. <laughs> um, this the next song. It's also a newer song as well. It is a composed by our dear friend and our dance member, Blake Chacun Lapine. He is a uh, he is a uh, duck and uh, if I can ask him just to turn around so that we can acknowledge you for for your artistry and your song composition. <laughs> this song was uh, created in spirit of always trying to feel good. It, it, the song is called The uh, Spirit of Carving. And when you're carving, you, the, the carvers always have to remember that they are in a good, in, in a, in a good mindset, that they are very uh, open, very loving, and also very healthy. And so this is to sort of uh, commemorate all of the carvers that are, are, are out there and to also re remind them that we have to be in a good spirit when we carve. So goodness chiefs.
Thank you very much. We just wanted to um, say a real big thank you to a couple of people for giving us this opportunity to travel all the way from the Yukon to Washington, D.C., a beautiful city that none of us have been to before. And um, so I wanted to say Gunashish to my two brothers, Eric Hollinger, who works here at the Smithsonian, and also to our clan leader, Edwell John Jr. They, um, they asked us if we wanted to come down and help out with the repatriation of the hat and to dance to celebrate this wonderful occasion. So I just wanted to really say thank you and we wanted to acknowledge our Deshitan relative too, Garfield. He traveled down from New York to be here to support us and to hold us up. So we are a culture, a culture of balance and so some of us belong to the eagle wolf side, the moiety, we call it a moiety, and the others are raven. So we're always, we always have to make sure that we have both from each side to hold each other up. And our, our, one of our traditional laws is that you have to marry the opposite side. So in essence, the opposite people are our father's people, and therefore they are very, very special to us. So I really wanted, as a Dakluwedi Shah, Dakluwedi woman, I really wanted to hold up and to acknowledge our Raven people here, Gunashish, Gunashish, for being here with us. And thank you, Smithsonian. We're having the time of our lives. It's great. And um, after this, we're going to run outside in our regalia and take a picture in front of the Capitol building. Yay! So thank you again, and thank you for coming here to watch us dance and to participate and share our culture with us. I also wanted to say that these young men are in training, and they're, they're learning how to song lead and do um, the way that our protocol tells us to do things. And so it's a wonderful time for us to be uh, revitalizing and to holding up our cult culture and trying to relearn our language. All of these things that were not completely taken away, but a lot taken away. So we're bringing it back again. And this is a beautiful, wonderful, joyous time for us as young Indigenous people, as young Clinket people. So I just wanted to hold up these dancers and say, Gunas Chish. This next song, it is, uh, it is called the uh, uh, Mouse Song. It was uh, composed by our dear friend Lance Rene Twitchell, who had also composed our outside song as well as our, our entrance song. Uh, this song was just to uh, keep in mind of how important our language is to each, each and one of us. Our language is part of our culture. Our language is, is very hard to uh, translate with some of the words because the uh, two languages between English and our uh, Shanghai language, sometimes it, things just don't um, work correctly when the uh, translation is. So for us to really understand and learn and to know our uh, culture, we also have to really work hard towards bringing our language back and making it very strong again. And I hope that one day we will be walking down the uh, streets back in, in, in our homeland freely speaking our language. That will be a good day.
The one thing I noticed about, about over here, because a lot of us, uh, well, we all live either on the coast or very close to, to, to the coast, and it's very moist here, but I find it's really dry here. It's, it's, it's a, whole, a whole change. It's kind of, kind of neat. But um, we have uh, one more song to do, and then uh, from there we will be doing our, our exit song. The uh, one thing about the uh, inland Tlingit people is that many of us has also a Tagish ancestry, as well as maybe some ties with some other uh, Athabascan uh, cultures. The uh, Athabascan uh, songs there's, and their uh, dances are a little bit different than what our, uh, our own uh, tr traditional dances and songs are. This uh, song was uh, uh, composed by a gentleman named George Hawley, and it's uh, called Going North. When uh, George, he was, uh, he was visiting um, the hometown where, where I, uh, uh, myself and many of, of our group members come from in, uh, in a little town of about 600 people called Carcross. Its uh, original name was a Caribou Crossing. But when he was uh, in a Carcross, it was uh, supposed to be a hot summer warm day, which up in the Yukon, we can actually still get pretty warm up in that area there. But uh, we actually have the world's smallest desert up there, which is kind of an, uh, in, an uh, in interesting fact. But so the uh, drive between Carcross and Whitehorse is only about 45 minutes. And so he w when, when he was uh, traveling with uh, two other people in a rental vehicle, they were going from Carcross to Whitehorse. And uh, George had uh, sort of mentioned, you know, man, up here in the uh, summertime, you know, it's, it's the sun is out and everything, but it's still really, really cold. I'm just freezing right now. Well, he realized that they had the uh, um, air conditioning on the whole time. So this was, uh, this song came to him after, after that, just to sort of uh, commemorate uh, where we, uh, we come from. And it's called Going North. Actually, uh, like to ask um, Ed. Uh, Edwell, did you want to, to say something? Okay. Here's um, Ed Edwell Jr. Going to teach. Thank you. Going In our language, going means thank you. Thank you for being with us here today. We really appreciate it. And to echo what Marilyn mentioned we also like to thank the people that sponsored us to come here today and be here with you today and dance we are going to be here at least until Sunday so I, I we mentioned that we're from Alaska and I'm from Alaska rather <laughs> and they're from the Yukon but we're all Slingit Indians and I was in the military um, and I'm retired military after 22 years are there any veterans in the auditorium today could you stand up, please? 
Gunish Cheesh, Gunish Cheesh, veterans. Gunish Cheesh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank all of you. I know Veterans Day is just around the corner, and I'd like to say thank all of you for serving and thank all of you that supported, uh, that supports the, the men and women of the military service. Gunish Cheesh. So, in the military, I, I was stationed in Germany for seven years. And uh, I'm sure many of you have the same questions. When I was there, they would ask me, so, where are you from? I'm from Alaska. One of the questions, is that part of the United States? Another question they would ask is, do you have a dog sled team? And one of the last questions that people always ask is, do you live in igloos? I said, yes, we have a two-story igloo. <laughs> Goodness, Cheesh, thank you all for being here. And I'd like to thank my brothers and sisters of the interior for, for being here with me today. And also thank my, my father's people of the Deshitan. Goodness, Cheesh, thank you for being here today, too. <clears throat> thank you, Goodness, Cheesh. Uh, we are now going to do our exit song. Daka Kwan dancers, Iguai Kwan, Guk. <laughs> 